After years of on-track battles, last lap overtakes and ill-timed crashes, we finally have a bit of actual drama between Cooper Webb and Ken Roxon. Coop has made a hobby out of getting the best of Kenny. At this point, if Kenny is leading and Coop is in second, the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world know that the Red Bull KTM rider is going to come out on top. Webb entered Saturday's Daytona main event down just six points to leader Roxon at the midpoint in the season. Roxon has held the red plate for six races leading up to this, with Webb's point deficit shrinking. After Kenny qualified first overall and led every lap in his heat, Webb answered by leading every lap in his own heat race and did it just a few seconds quicker, giving him the first gate pick in the main event. This will be important later. At the start, Ken looked to have another hole shot in hand, but Coop ran him all the way up the second berm, almost taking him down in the process. This was a clean pass, however, with no apparent contact made, just hard and smart racing from the number two. Obviously, we know how this ends. Cooper rode in the top three all night before finishing second. Ken worked his way through the pack, fending off Malcolm Stewart and catching Webb twice, but unable to make the pass both times. This narrowed the points gap from six to just two going into the 10th round in Arlington, and Ken didn't take too kindly to the move. Despite missing the podium, the TV crew knew that Ken's interview would make for great television. Here's what that HRC writer had to say. Obviously, I got a really good start, and Webb just pushed me really wide into tough blocks, which caused me to lose a bunch of spots. I think he's scared of me. That's why he plays these kind of games, but little does he know I like to play as well. So from here on out, I'm gonna put in just a little bit of extra focus on a daily basis, even at home to be that much better on the weekend. He's just fueling the fire and I'm ready for it. He got this one round and the points have closed up a little bit, but we've got plenty of racing to go. I like to play, so let's go. After the race, Cooper Webb had some words of his own about Ken Roxon in that first turn move. Yeah, when we got back, he was running his mouth. He wasn't too pumped, but I'm not sure why. I saw an opening and went for it. He's focusing on himself this year, and clearly he showed how much he's focusing on himself. Obviously, this is a dig at Ken's new rock zen approach that he credits for transforming himself into the clear title threat that he is this year, and the long brewing drama between the two finally boiling over after all these years is exactly what we needed to inject into this championship chase that has lost a bit of its preseason luster now that it's down to just the two main riders. One interesting note here is that Webb had the fastest heat race, meaning he gets to pick his first gate. This allows Roxon to pick second, and he would then be able to counter pick Cooper. Most riders would use this opportunity in a title hunt to line up inside their rival to have better control to and through the first corner. But curiously, Roxon is lined up to the outside here. Perhaps Ken picked that gate specifically for the rut, but if it were that good, you'd think Coop would have taken that one. Did Ken get overconfident here, or is it possible Cooper Webb played some sort of head games here again? Let me know in the comments what you think about Kenny's gate choice and also how you feel about Coop's tactics in the first turn. Was that a greasy move or is all fair in love and racing? I'd love to have some back and forth with you all down in the comments. Please be sure to subscribe to the Rotomoto YouTube channel for more content like this, especially if you play Fantasy Supercross. Thank you for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.